G'day guys, Jason Ninja here. We've got five exercises to fix your upper back, shoulder blade pain, even upper trap and neck pain. So yeah, if you're getting pain in this sort of region here, these exercises are gonna help you. So let's get you down on all fours, Ninja. So the first one we're just gonna work on is breathing. So I want Ninja to shift his weight forward over his hands there. And then what you're gonna do, Ninja, is breathe out through your mouth and you're gonna start to flex up through this thoracic spine. And then you're gonna inhale through your nose and you're breathing into this thoracic spine and the back of your ribs here. So we're looking for a nice continual rounding here. So what happens with a lot of pain through here is people get stuck, they can't actually move through their thoracic spine due to sitting at a desk, sitting in a car, being quite sedentary, and just having general tightness through this area which restricts your rib cage and your ability for that thoracic spine to flex and, and rotate. So this is just gonna to help to open these tissues up. We're taking nice inhales through the nose, full exhales out the mouth, and Ninja's actually thinking about hugging his ribs in. So come in nice and closely so you can see he's trying to pull his abs. So he's getting a bit of ab engagement as well as opening up. So come from the top side as well, Leo. Let's have a look. So we're trying to open up and create some length through these tissues here. Just have a quick rest there, Ninja. So yeah, we just normally do three sets of five breaths. So you're just working to try and increase that nice curve through your spine. Because when you get stuck and you get stuck in these patterns, people might go to the gym and they might train rows or presses, but you don't actually get the expansion through the rib cage, through this thoracic spine. And there's a thing actually in the body that's called the joint by joint theory. And basically, joints have a primary role of either mobility or stability. And when we're referring to the thoracic spine, we want to have mobility in this area. So we want it to be nice and mobile and moving in all directions. But yeah, due to modern society, a lot of people are stuck and can't move through this area. So then your neck starts to overcompensate and tries to do more of that mobility work. And that's when you get these upper traps and these muscles that attach onto the shoulder blades that get a lot of pain. All right, so once we've done the flexion, we'll get Ninja down and work on some extension work. So start all the way down there, Ninja. And what we're doing is we're just gonna get Ninja to slowly think about extending first through his upper back. So start to peel your neck and your upper back off the floor. And then we're just gonna slowly, segment by segment, we're trying to work at getting some extension here. That's it, and then just coming up as far as you can there. So we're making sure that our hips are staying on the floor. So imagine there's a belt pulling your hips down into the floor so you can't lift them off. And we're just trying to look for a nice extension pattern here, not pushing into any pain or discomfort, but just trying to get some extension through the spine there. And then you can go back down in. So I like to just do some nice and controlled slow reps. And each time you're thinking about these segments trying to peel off there. Because a lot of people will just overarch through this lower back and that lumbo thoracic junction. But we want to focus on these joints here starting to open up. That's it, good. And you can also think about your abs stretching. So that's a sensation that you want to feel as well is length through the abs here, opening up like that. So if we're compressed and we're stuck in flex positions in the desk, in the car, we want to open those abs up and get some extension through this spine here. All right, so these are two really easy exercises you can start to do at home, in the office, during the day, just to help to break up. So yeah, do 10 reps of those, just nice and slow coming up and down. Remember to breathe as well. Don't hold your breath and tense. <sighs> Breathing out as you're coming up. All right, let's progress on to some cable exercises. We're on to cable rows. If you don't have a cable, if you've got a TheraBand or a stretchy band at home, you can do this same exercise. So we're starting Ninja, reaching out forward. So you want to protract that scapula, lengthen through this area, and then he's going to slowly row this arm in and he starts to rotate his rib cage towards the camera. So he also starts to reach this hand forward if that's what gives you a better sensation. And we're working into also keeping our hips nice and square. So we don't want to rotate through the hips and start to move through our whole body. We're trying to isolate this thoracic spine and this upper back, and then going back out there and in. So just rep out some nice slow reps. So he reaches forward. So again, we're getting some rotation through these tissues, some length, and then we're contracting, squeezing this lower shoulder blade, pulling back, rotate the ribs, and really exaggerate that rotation. So come around the back here, Leo, so we can really see what we're targeting with these muscles. So we want to get some activation through this back of the shoulder blade as he rotates, he lengthens here, and then as he starts to squeeze back, we get this involved, we get that lat, and it wraps over into this glute. So Ninja's activating that glute to stabilize his hips here. All right, so we're working at that extension, getting some rotation through these tissues, 
but we're taking them through full ranges. Just a couple more then in. So as he reaches forward, you see these tissues open up and then they start to contract and shorten and pull back. All right, so the way this is different to a normal row that a lot of people do in the gym. So then you just go back to normal. So what a lot of people do in the gym, they just stand there and they'll just squeeze the shoulder back like that. And you're not actually taking that, you're just shortening that muscle and not taking it through its full length, but you're also missing out on that rib cage rotation, which is what helps to improve that thoracic mobility. All right, so now we're getting into the spin around and we'll do a punch variation. So feet hip width apart, facing forward, same sort of thing. This opposite arm will reach forward to start. So he's about to take off to run almost, all right? So that's the position we want. Look how his chest is rotated towards you. Hand just in at the armpit, and then he's gonna punch forward towards me. And as he punches, he rotates all in one motion. All right, so then he comes back nice and slow. So we wanna see this punch and the rotation all at the same time. What we don't wanna happen is the arm to just punch like that, where you're just using more the pec. We wanna actually feel you create this line of tension. Again, come back around the front, Leo. So as Ninja punches, hopefully you don't punch me in the head, he should feel pec into his abs, into that hip and he's gonna rotate back, create that tension. So you wanna feel it really wind up and then it springs you back forward and you punch out. All right, so this line of fascia and muscles connect and then you punch. So you're not just isolating this one group. And then let's come back around the back and we can see what's going on at the back here as he punches. Again, he punches through and he rotates, maybe come around that side, Leo, so you can see Ninja's muscles there. He's cut no. for us for this video. Oh, no. And then look we at him punch. We should get you doing this, Jace. That's it. So he rotates, that rib cage is moving again, and then he punches out and he's getting some more length in that again. And he really exaggerating that protraction of the shoulder blade. So we're getting those muscles to lengthen, contract, but keeping moving through that rib cage. And then the last one, Ninja, we'll get you to turn side on. We want the arms out dead in front of you, so straight out from your chest and up. At, so even in this position, he should feel his abs on and he should feel like he's stabilizing to be there and he's gonna to start to rotate towards the camera there. So keep your hips square if you can. And again, just focus on your upper body moving there. So we're trying, trying to isolate more that thoracic spine and get that upper back moving. That's it, try and keep your arms out straight. And let's see, rip it as fast as you can. Good, and then back slow. So fast on the way through and then back nice and slow, even slower on the way back. So try and take five seconds to get back. That's it. So again, that thoracic is moving. We're not moving too much through this head and neck because a lot of people, they move too much through their neck because they don't have that mobility in the thoracic spine. So as I mentioned, that joint by joint theory, we want this rib cage and this thoracic spine to move. And yes, we want some mobility in our neck, but if this isn't moving first, the neck's gonna overcompensate and do all that movement itself. All right, come around the front, let's get a look at what's going on at the front here as well. So come back a bit wider so we can see this nice X pattern again. So we're getting strength through our core and our abs, but then we're getting movement through that rib cage. And this is what helps to break up the body. This translates into athletic performance, sprinting, sport, movement, just getting more movement through your body in better patterning rather than just being stuck. Because a lot of people's training, even if you train at the gym a lot, a lot of people train pressing, pulling, but they don't train that rotation, which is what translates into such better athletic performance in the, throughout the body. So yeah, there it is. Five exercises to help get rid of that nagging pain in your upper back, shoulder blade, neck. So yeah, give them a go, and yeah, it'll fix your upper back pain. Thanks guys. Get it done.